Hello everyone, this is Rishikesh and we are going to be talking about page replacement algorithms in operating systems. So why are page replacement algorithms needed? They are needed when there is over allocation of memory by the processes. It is an operating system's attempt to increase the system utilization and throughput. It should be logically transparent to the user. So what should an ideal page replacement algorithm look like? It should have the lowest page fault rate. So how do we evaluate these algorithms? We evaluate these algorithms by running it on a particular string of memory references or a reference string and computing the number of page faults and page replacements on that string. In all our examples, we use a few recurring reference strings. This method treats page frames allocated to a process as a circular buffer. When the buffer is full, the oldest page is replaced, hence the term first in, first out. A frequently used page is often the oldest, so it will be repeatedly paged out by FIFO. This is a disadvantage. The main advantage is the FIFO algorithm is simple to implement. It requires only a pointer that circles through the page frames of the process. Now, let us look at an example using the first in first out page replacement algorithm. Here is a reference string containing the numbers of the processes which are being used. And this is the page frame which is of size 3. So now the first process with number 7 will be entered into the buffer. Then process number 0 will be entered and then 1 will be entered. Now since the buffer is full, the first process to enter the buffer that is process number 7 will be replaced by process number 2. But when we go to the next process, the process number 0, since it is already there in the buffer, there is no need to replace. The next is process number 3. Now since 0 is the oldest element in the buffer right now, 0 will be replaced by 3. Similarly, next element is 0. Since 1 is the oldest element in the buffer now, 1 will be replaced by 0. This goes on. 2 is replaced by 4. Then again, 3 is replaced by 2. 0 is replaced by 3. This process goes on for the rest of the processes. Now to calculate the hit ratio and miss ratio. As you can see hit ratio is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 out of 20 and the miss ratio is 15 out of 20. Now let us look at the advantages and the disadvantages of the first in first out page replacement algorithm. As we came to know, it replaces the page that has been in memory the longest. Thus, it focuses on the length of time a page has been in memory rather than on how much time the page is being used. This presents a problem. Since the more time a page has been in memory, it means that the process, the page has been used by the processor. This algorithm's main asset is that it is simple to implement. Its behavior is not particularly well suited to the behavior of most programs. However, since it is completely independent of the locality of the program, few systems still use it. Now, Sriman will be speaking more about the other page replacement algorithms, namely the optimal page replacement algorithm and the LRU or the least recently used algorithm. Now let us see the optimal page replacement algorithm. The optimal policy selects for the replacement of the page that will not be used for the longest period of time. The main aspect of the optimal page replacement algorithm is that it is impossible to implement but serves as a standard to compare with the other algorithms we shall study. Now let us consider the working of the optimal page replacement algorithm. Now we have considered the reference string with all the process names and the page frames of size 3. 7, 0, 1 are ordered in their positions. When the process 2 occurs, it comes and sees that 7 has the most longest reoccurrence time among 7, 0 and 1. So 2 is replaced by 7. The next process 0 comes and already finds its position in the page frame. So here a page fault occurs. The process continues in a similar fashion and there are totally 9 page faults. So the miss ratio is 9 out of 20 and the hit ratio is 11 out of 20. Now comes the pros and cons of optimal method. 
Advantage of the optimal page replacement algorithm is that it has the lowest rate of occurrence of page faults. Hypothetically, it improves the system performance by reducing overhead for the number of page faults and swapping pages in and out when the page fault occurs. Disadvantage of a optimal page replacement policy is that it is very difficult to implement. The situation is very similar to that of an implementation of the SAF algorithm in process management. It becomes very difficult for an operating system to calculate after what interval a page is to be referred to. Now let us look upon LIU policy of page replacement. This process replaces the page that has not been referenced for a longest time. By the principle of locality, this should be the page least likely to be referenced in the near future. This performs nearly as well as the optimal policy. Now let us have a look on an example which describes the LRU page replacement algorithm. Here we are considering the reference string that has all the processes and a page frame the same way as size 3. Now the 7, 0 and 1 respectively accommodate their own places and when this 2 comes it just sees in the process which is the oldest referenced process and it is replaced by that process. In this case the 7 is referenced much older than compared to 0 and 1. Now when this next process 0 occurs it's already present in the frame here the page fault occurs. Now when the next process 3 comes into the picture it just glances through the processes 2, 0 and 1 and finds that 0 and 2 are newly referenced and 1 is the only referenced one. So it replaces 1 with this position. Now when 0 again occurs it's already in the frame and here the page fall occurs. The process continues in a similar fashion. Now let us describe the pros and cons of the LRU algorithm. The advantage of the LRU algorithm is that it is very feasible to implement. This is not as simple as the FE4 algorithm but not as complicated to implement as the optimal page replacement algorithm. Disadvantage of the LRU algorithm is that it requires additional data structures and hardware support. And now comes the comparison of FIFO with LRU. Now we are doing the same job of considering the pay same page address stream that is these and the page frames of the same size 3. Here the LRU method of page replacement algorithm is followed and here the FIFO method of page replacement method is followed. The LRU recognizes that the page 2 and 5 are referenced more frequently but the FIFO fails to do so. Thank you.